Hello everyone, welcome to News Roundup number 141 and a very happy Easter to you if that's something that you celebrate. If not, I hope you're having a restful weekend. OK, when kids leave the family home, their parents throw out up to £2,000 worth of their belongings, says a story in the Daily Mail. The paper was reporting on a survey which also claimed that one in twelve declutter just a week after their offspring's departure. It seems that nearly two-thirds of young adults leave books, clothes or music collections behind, putting them all at risk of being disposed of by overzealous parents. However, according to the research by Big Yellow Self Storage, a sentimental 36% of parents leave their children's rooms untouched. I'm afraid I fall into the former category, um, but not that quickly. I, I think it was about four years before I started decluttering my children's stuff. A new species of fungus has been discovered in the UK, says the Daily Mirror. It's called Geastrum Britannicum and was found by Jonathan Revett in Cockley Clay, Norfolk who commented, They do look like little mushroom men. It's really strange how their shape makes them look like they have a head and arms. That's what drew my attention to them. I've had a look online. The pictures are quite funny, actually, so do have a look at them. A desk where Charles Dickens wrote Great Expectations is to go on permanent public display. The Daily Telegraph said the desk, which had been hidden away for more than 150 years, has been bought by the National Heritage Fund with a £780,000 grant. It had been passed down through the Dickens family after the author's death in 1870, before it was auctioned for charity in 2004. It will go on display at the Charles Dickens Museum one of the author's former homes in London. Some women are carrying the cost of a small car on their arm, according to new research by MacArthur Glen designer Outlet Villagers. The Daily Mirror reports that although the average woman has £512 worth of accessories tucked away in her handbag, some have £3,144 worth of gadgets and makeup. Who are these women and how much does all that weigh? You imagine the weight of the handbag. Gee whiz. Oh dear. You might want to give the Lancashire town of Preston a bypass if you believe a story in the Daily Mail. They say Preston tops the league table of towns with the unhealthiest high streets. It has the highest proportion of bookies, payday loan shops, fast food shops and tanning salons in its main shopping area. The Royal Society for Public Health claims such businesses are viewed as having a negative impact on health. A negative impact on everything, I think. Talk about being lucky. A couple from Scunthorpe who won £1 million in the Euro Lottery in 2013 have done it again. The Daily Express said the odds against David Long and Kathleen Mackenzie's achievement were more than 283 billion to one. David said, I always knew I'd win, even the first time. I just had a feeling it was going to be me. I tend to play when I know there are lots of prizes on the go. Blimey, 283 billion to one, that's amazing. A piece of good environment news in the Daily Telegraph. One of the UK's rarest butterflies has recorded its best year for 10 years, thanks to last year's warm spring weather and work to restore its habitat. Numbers of high brown fritillary, fritillary yes, that's right, increased by more than 180% compared to 2013, according to new research. It once bred in most large woods in England and Wales, but is now restricted to a handful of colonies in northwest and southwest England and one in Wales. Dr Tom Brereton, head of monitoring at Butterfly Conservation, said the high brown fritillary is one of only two butterflies classed as critically endangered in the UK. So it is fantastic news that numbers are at their highest level for more than a decade. 
He's right, it is fantastic news. Take care, see you next time.